butterscotch. Strawberry. Blueberry. Mmm. Uh, I forget. <laughs> Your shirt may give you a clue. I had to eat it quickly. It was melting. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. The great Mephisto, magician extraordinaire, master of hypnosis. It says the great Mephisto will give a free show tonight on the common. You don't believe any of that hocus-pocus stuff, do you? It's all a complete fake. Don't be too sure, Bill. Want to see a real magic trick I learned from my Uncle Hector? Abracadabra! Presto! Ha! Great trick, Pochi. I'll say. Mmm! Huh? <laughs> the hand is quicker than the eye. And nothing is quicker than Podgy's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet back here right after we all make our suppers disappear. Bye! All right, back in a flash. with mirrors. Shh. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's performance of Phantas Mephisto. First, the great Mephisto shall amaze and astound with fabulous feats of prestidigitation. He had them hidden up his sleeve. Shh. And now, prepare to witness the astounding, mind-controlling powers of the most mysterious of the ancient arts, Hypnosis. Who among you is brave enough to assist me? Over here! Oh, brother. You! Huh? Me? Rupert's the one with his hand up. What's the matter, Bill? Chicken? <laughs> Ha! I'm not afraid. Besides, hypnosis will never work on me. Gaze deeply into my eyes. Your eyelids are getting heavy. My mind is far too sharp to fall for any sort of... You must listen closely to my every word. Very, very mumbo jumbo. My mind controls your every thought. My slightest wish is your command. When you awaken, you shall be, you shall be, you shall be. Hey, Bill! I thought you said you were chicken! <laughs> At least he's got a bird's eye view of the show. Let's have a big hand for our volunteer. Huh? I told you he couldn't hypnotize me. Brilliant! Brilliant. Bravo! Oh, thank you, thank you, my friends. Why is everyone cheering for him? I would love to stay, but I cannot disappoint my fans in the next village. Until next time, I bid you adieu. Bye-bye. Thanks for the show. Did I miss something? <laughs> What's so funny? It's a long story, Bill. Say, perhaps we aren't the only victims. Uh, he stole yes, everything. He stole the He stole the Yes, ma'am. What's missing? Ah, he's sick. A PC growler here. Yes, sir. As soon as I. Now, no pushing. Well, of course I will. I'm afraid there's been a series of robberies. You too, Bill? I don't believe it. It seems everyone in Nutwood had something stolen last night. Sorry about that. <clears throat> now then, Mr. Bear, unless I'm mistaken, you're here to report some stolen property. 
Yes, this used to display my silver gardening trophy. First prize for my rhododendrons. The secret is in the mulch, you see. Every autumn I... <clears throat> Just the facts, please. Oh, yes, of course. Well, not much more to tell, really. I came down to breakfast this morning, and there it was. Gone. Any evidence of forced entry? None. And no footprints or any other clues. And nothing else was stolen. Whoever it was knew exactly what they wanted. They just walked in and helped themselves. Hmm, that fits the modus operandi in all the other cases. Very odd, very odd indeed. A serious business, this has all the earmarks of an inside job. You mean someone in Nutwood is a thief? Yes, yes, of course. And no need to worry. Let everyone, please, calm down. Yeah, yes, yes, Come on, Bill. Uh, one at a time. Stop I think Constable please. Growler needs our help. What are you looking for? My magnifying glass. We'll need it to look for fingerprints. Now, where did I put it? Of course! <laughs> Bill, what are you... Huh? <laughs> Stop horsing around. We've got a lot to... <laughs> oh, no! He isn't joking! <laughs> Bill? Bill? You won't snap out of it. Bill! Come back! Stop! Bill! Stop! Bill! Bill! Wait! Troublemaking Fox Brothers! Sorry, Gaffer George! I'll explain later! My hands won't be laying for weeks, you young scallywags! Fascinating! Poor Bill's been in a bit of a flap, so to speak. <laughs> Better get Bill back to normal before he hurts himself. Here, Chick. Uh, I mean, Bill. This should do the trick, or undo it, as the case may be. On my command, you will awake and return to being Bill. Wake up! Huh? Who, Professor? What? What am I doing here? Well done, Professor. Perhaps you should keep this, Rupert, just in case. In case of what? Did I miss something? Sunset already? Gosh, the day seems to have flown by. <laughs> 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 What's so funny? It's a long story, Bill. That's what you always say. Now, really, this is too much. My silver cufflinks have been stolen. Good morning, Constable Growler. Have you had any luck with the investigation? It hasn't even begun, Rupert. I've only just now finished filling out all the missing property reports. <sighs> but now that I'm out from behind the desk, I can finally get to the bottom of this crime wave. Not yet, I'm afraid. We've come to report another... Constable Growl is going to be swamped with more paperwork. Rupert, what's all the commotion about now? 
the Nutwood Thief has struck again. Really? There wasn't anything missing at our house. I'm sure of it. Seems you're the only ones. And Constable Growler hasn't even had time to investigate yesterday's robberies. Time for his assistants to swing into action. My thoughts exactly. Mum's gold earrings and the bracelet taken the night before. Nothing else is missing? Nope, not a. <gasps> he got the cupcakes! I was saving the last three for a snack! Somebody has to stop this fiend! We'd better search for fingerprints. <clears throat> I can help solve that part of the mystery, boys. Dad! How could you? Um, we've interviewed everyone and haven't found a single clue. Not even one fingerprint. I don't get it. There's one more thing we can try. If the burglar comes back again tonight, we'll be ready. Aww. When you said we were going on a stakeout, I thought you meant we were going to have a barbecue. Just hide, Podgy. This is brilliant. <laughs> This is boring. Must go home. Podgy, get down. We're supposed to be Podgy? Did you see that, Rupert? Podgy must be sleepwalking or... Huh? Rupert? What's going on? Hey! Are you joking around? You're not joking around. Oh my gosh. Hope this works. Come on, Rupert. Wake up! Huh? Yeah? What's going on? What am I doing with Grandma Bear's old mirror? You were in a trance. I think this hypnosis stuff is catching. Podgy's got it too. Hmm. Bill, you'd better keep an eye on Podgy. I'll get Constable Growler. <laughs> really, Rupert, this all sounds highly fanciful. That's why I thought you should see for yourself, Constable Growler. Shh, he's still inside. <gasps> Here he comes. Halt! In the name of the law! He doesn't even know we're here. I can wake him up with this. Hang on, Rupert. First, I'd like to see where he's taking those pearls. This is certainly one for the books. Podgy the sleepwalking nutwood bandit. Not just Podgy. Look! The great Mephisto. Ah, yes. Podgy Pig, isn't it? For me? Why, thank you. Come again tomorrow, won't you? Another gift. Well, I'm flattered. Thank you. Yes, great Mephisto. These Nutwood folk are so generous. <laughs> Should we round them up and unhypnotize them? We'll do that later, Rupert. It's safer to let them find their way home. Can't have a bunch of civilians milling about while I make an arrest. That's the last one. Hey, you lads, stay put. It's time I apprehended this charlatan. Get ready, Rupert. That Mephisto fellow might make a run for it. Don't worry, Bill. Constable Growler has him cornered. He's taking his time. There he is! Const Wait! <gasps> Look at his face! <gasps> Look! 
Listen carefully. You will instruct the townsfolk to deliver all their valuables into your safekeeping. Valuables! Safekeeping! And tomorrow night, you will bring the loot to me. Yes, Great Mephisto! This will be the ultimate finale. <laughs> the coast is clear. Let's go. With a local constable under my control, I'll empty the entire village in one night. Hmm. Two of my assistants have failed to make their nightly contribution. But my powers never fail. Over there. Constable Growler! Yeah! What have we here? A couple of free thinkers? This will never do. Look into my eyes. <gasps> Run! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Let me go! Look into my eyes. You've got to wake up! And I arrest you in the name of... Rupert? What? How? No time for explanations. We have to find... Bill? Oh, no! You take care of Bill, Rupert. I'll handle that Mephisto character. Bill! Here, Bill! He won't get away this time. <laughs> Don't be so sure, Constable Chicken. <laughs> and now for that meddlesome little bear. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you off to in such a hurry? I believe you and I have a little unfinished business. <gasps> no! You... Oh. Look into my... What? <laughs> oh. 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 Let go, you major mutt! Well done, Bill! Oh, why don't you go chase a squirrel or something? Fetch! Now then, what would be a fitting end for a curious bear? I know. You do remember the old saying about cats and curiosity? You don't scare me, Mephisto. You cannot resist. No one can resist the great Mephisto. Look into my eyes, my little kitty cat. Huh? It worked! Not even the great Mephisto can resist the great Mephisto. <laughs> That's enough, Bill. Here, boy. <laughs> Easy, fella. Come on, time to wake up. Hmm? Yuck! Rupert, what's... Constable Growler! If that's the pesky fox brothers up to their hen house shenanigans, I'll... What in thunderation? I hate to ask, but did I miss something? I'll fill you in later, Bill. 
It's a long story. I knew you were going to say that. Come on, Rupert, tell me what happened. What do I have to do, sit up and beg? <laughs> now what's so funny? Ain't a thing funny about it. My chickens won't be laying for weeks. Only one more to go. Wake up, not-so-great Mephisto. Huh? Oh, let me out of here. My back. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no! It's been reversed. Constable Growler. <laughs> I'm fine, Rupert, but I think solving this case has given us all something to crow about, don't you? Ha, 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 ha,